Once upon a time, there used to be a little boy called Richard. He was dark and beautiful. He had these big eyes, curly hair, short and sweet. Anybody who would see him would fall in love with this cute little guy. Richard lived in a country called Africa. In those days, in Africa there was slavery. The black people, the ones who were dark, were not allowed to do anything of their choice. Whenever he would run up to his master and say, "I want to have an ice cream," they would say, "No." Whenever he would run and say, "I want to play," they would say, "No, no." And whenever they would say, "I want to go and sleep," he would not be allowed to even do that. He came to realize that whatever he wanted, he could never do because he was dark. because he was black and he started convincing himself saying okay this is what my life is about i can't do anything so let me listen to my master always he becomes a very obedient child who always listens to the master and everybody you know kind of really, really lets him be but one fine day he makes a big mistake and the master gets very angry and they say get out but your punishment is the whole day you are going to clean the farm and the garden in the scorching sun richard is a small little child he so he turns up and it's very hot outside he says no problem but you made the mistake you need to learn go out now and richard goes out crying and he starts working he cleans and he cleans the farm he cleans the garden and he cleans 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 and cleans he has no time to look around because he has to finish all of this before the sun goes down but while cleaning he looks up for a moment and he sees something that he has never seen before in his life what is this there's a blue color in the sky yes but the sky has always been blue now there is a red color in the sky There's a green, there's a orange, there's a white. What are these things? What are these colors in the sky? He's so curious and he's so excited to see these colors fly up in the sky. He doesn't know what it is because he's never seen it. He looks in that direction from where all these colors are coming up and he finds there is a man on the cycle sending these colors up. Richard runs towards him. He forgets his master will scold him he runs in excitement he runs in curiosity and he goes up to this boy this man and he says uncle uncle what is this what are these colors going up and the guy turns back and he says this is a balloon what's your name little boy you look so cute have you never seen a balloon and the boy says my name is richard a balloon i have never seen a balloon there are so many colors These balloons can fly. I saw red going up, I saw blue going up, I saw green going up, and then uncle, I found a white going up. But I want to ask you something. And the balloon uncle says, "What is it, Richard? Ask me." He says, "I saw the white going up. Do you think the black will also go up?" So, listening to Richard's question, the balloon man understands where Richard is coming from. He looks straight into Richard's eyes and he tells him, "Richard, here, hold this black balloon and see for yourself." And gives him the black balloon and Richard leaves it. And he's surprised to see the black balloon also fly. He's filled with joy and excitement and he's like, "The black also flew, the black balloon flew." And the balloon man looks at him in a very sympathetic way and he says richard remember one thing any color of balloon red blue green white black anything you leave any balloon and it will fly no matter which size small big thin large any size of balloon you leave it will fly the balloon flies not because of how it looks on the outside or where it's come from the balloon flies because it has air inside and just like the balloon all of us human beings have the same air inside all of us are born capable to fly all of us are born capable to grow high to succeed in our life 
we do not have to get stopped with our color we do not have to get stopped with our size we do not have to get stopped from where we are coming what we have what we don't have we only need to know if others have done it we can also do it there are many people before us who have been able to do it you take gandhi ji you take a lot of leaders before us who have done it and we have the same air richard which means that all of us are going to grow and succeed if only we believe in it you saw the black balloon go up now i want you to think that you can also grow in your life so that day richard decides black can fly i can fly and from that day onwards he only focused on growing and he became one of the you know biggest leaders in the world